pancakes on duty today. Feeling fishy? How you feeling fishy? Hello there, so we got a total bonus fishing day today. I had planned to have a little cast this evening, but I found myself with some leisure time today, so I'm gonna fish the river Coquit and see if I can't catch myself a trout. Though so we're getting towards the end of the season, days are gonna be limited from now on, sadly. So let's make hay when the sun shines. Plan is to fish quite quickly. I'm gonna fish a few beats on the river today and just work my way down to where I was planned to be this evening. I'm gonna swing some wet flies today just because just I like doing it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work my way downstream, swing in the wet, and then I'll nymph my way back upstream. Just for convenience, because my rod's already set up, I'm gonna fish with a six weight. I'm gonna put a sea trout fly on and like a nymph or something and just see what, see what I can get. Nice flow in the water today. It's not a monster, but a fish is a fish. I took the pheasant tail. It's a microfish. Oh no, it did. Keep still. No, oh, the little fish are on it. Yeah. This is a lively one. This is a relative monster compared to what we've been catching. Oh, what a beautiful little fish, though. Come on. Again, this size 18 pheasant tail is smashing it. Look at that little beauty. Another. Cleaning up on the tiny fish here. Yeah. We've got this size. This is a salmon pot. Keep still. This is good fun. I think this is about the ninth fish so far. Oh, hang on, i make it a 10 because we've got two. Oh, chill. Whoa. There we go.
They're all good fun to catch. Oh, and it's come off. Oh well. Best form of release. There'll be fish in this one. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a lot better fish than I thought it was. It's just staying very low at the moment. That is a very good fish. And it took a size 18 pheasant tail. This might be a net job, this one. snag city around here so we're going to be really careful but this is a good fish look at that yeah we're definitely getting the net out What a beauty. Oh, no. Okay, so what happened there was I obviously hooked this little fella and then a nice fat big trout came and got a hold of the little one and look at the damage it's done to the little guy. I'm sorry little dude. Oh, that's a shame. It's a good spot here, isn't it? You like it here. So I really enjoyed that. I just had like an hour and a half, maybe just work my way down that stretch of the river. I must have had about 12, 15 little brownies. That was quite exciting when I had that big fish on for a while there. I took the little one and pulled it right down at the bottom and I thought it was fighting really strange because it was just staying low and not doing anything. Uh, as it turns out, it was just thinking it was enjoying its dinner until I yanked its dinner out of its mouth. So that was unfortunate. I actually think I've got that fish before because I've hooked, I've had a fish on. Did I land it? I think I did land it actually. Um, from that riffle and it was a really really brown coloured fish with loads of like orange spots. There's a school of thought to say that swinging wet flies for trout doesn't work because it's an unnatural presentation. Well it does, it definitely does and especially on the on the river Cogan. A lot of very experienced anglers have told me that the best way to fish for trout in the Cogan is, is to swing a fly and yeah it seems to be working today. In my experience the bigger fish, I've not had my biggest fish swinging wet flies, um, I've, but I've certainly had plenty of fish up to a pound and a half. But I think after that, they may be, they may be too smart. Um, but it's, it's definitely a very, very relaxing way to fish. It's so lovely just watching the fly come around. Um, it's actually, it's my favorite way to fish for trout, I think. Great tick, yeah. This guy was like a little tiger. So what I did, I had a sl slight change of tactic there because there's very little flow in here. I just cast not straight across, but as straight across as I could. Bear in mind I've got not much room behind me. And then I just let the flies, obviously not dead drift because there is drag, but it's under the water. So I guess it's just like a very, very slow swing effect. The fly is moving, but it's, also, it's mostly going with the current. Had a touch and a touch. Come on. I'm not striking instantly because I am conscious of the fact that I might hook a sea trout, hopefully. So I'm prepared to sacrifice some of these little brownies 
for a bigger fish so I'm almost waiting for it to get a hold of the fly properly like there I've just had a touch I could have struck There we go. Oh, did you see that little guy? That was nice. Come here, little fella. I mean, the fish are tiny, but this is so enjoyable. Come on. Come on, it's okay. I'll sort you out. I mean, that's perfect, that little fish. Look at that. How red his tail is there, his adipus fin is almost bright red. It's so nice. So we've got a fast run coming up here, it's not very long but it looks like a nice one. So I'm gonna put a heavier, a heavy nymph on, I'm gonna put this tungsten beaded orange thing. Came off. That was a better one. There is a fish at the bottom of this pool. Carla seems to take myself miles downstream. Stay, Carla, stay. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was a nice fish just jumped in the pool below. Before we go, let's have a look at this apple tree. I noticed it when I was walking back along the path. Look at the apples. They look like something out of a fairy tale. The owners have obviously put them out for people to take. I'm not gonna be shy. I'm gonna take a few of these. I'm sure that people won't mind. The plan is to just fish this stretch nice and quick. It's going to fish all the fast water. There's a nice flow in the river today. I've got two sea trout flies on. I'm not entirely sure what one is. And the other one is a, a black pennant.
saw this fish moving. Hmm, at least you said a microfish. Oh, you're a nice little fish. quick switch of rod and location pun intended on the rod like because we're going for the 11 foot oracle switch rod 788 and I've got on a salmon fly I've got a flame thrower so we're going to give it the last hour of light here and uh, hopefully catch a salmon you can always live in a hope This way we're getting the salmon. There it is. We're gonna get a salmon any minute. Any We've got a long march back haven't we Carla? We've got a real long march. And yet again we're salmon this. Can you believe we didn't catch a salmon? Uh, unfortunately I didn't catch a salmon at the top of my very nice day but uh, I still had a great day anyways. So you know salmon, salmon fishing is not about catching the salmon clearly. Anyway see you in the next video.